there are some really easy ways to make your introductions read poorly, so don't make these mistakes. Promote interest. Your introduction should make your reader want to read more. In this essay, I will describe the process of cell division. Cell division takes place at the point in a cell's life cycle when... That's fine, but it's really dull. Can you pose the topic as a problem? A developing issue in the field of nanotechnology is the issue of biohazards and biosafety. Or can you explain how having a deeper understanding of it will help us make someone's life better? Globally, 2 million people are diagnosed with HIV every year. Or can you show that you recognise why you've been asked to answer this essay question? The circulatory system can be divided broadly into two parts, the arteries and the veins. These different functional parts have different structural adaptations that enable them to carry out their distinct roles. Avoid generality. Being too grand at the start will put your reader off. Even if you've only done it for exaggerated effect, you've started off with a non-academic tone. It was the best of times, it was the worst of times. Everything you say needs to be specific enough that it could be backed up by a piece of evidence. The biggest problem facing mankind today is the issue of climate change. Don't try to make your essay seem so important that you go so far that you can't back it up. Ever since the dawn of the scientific era, people have wondered about the nature of consciousness. Progress from general to specific information. In your introduction, go from the general to the specific, so that your reader knows a bit about the context, but then can see where you're about to go with the main body. The topic of overfishing is a controversial one, given that the ecological aspect has to be balanced against the short-term need for an individual to sustain a livelihood and for a country to sustain an economy. By comparing and contrasting the arguments on either side of this issue, try not to refer to yourself or to the essay, just talk about the task that's being done. A review of the literature on the levels of nanoparticles found in various waterways will allow us to more accurately predict the effects on the ecology of those rivers and streams. In your conclusion, take the model you used for the introduction and turn it around so that you go from the specific information you've been discussing in the main body back out to the context and the generalisms. For more advice on conclusions, see the conclusions video.